Environmentalists sounding the alarm after a massive oil spill threatens the Southern California coast. My reaction was horrible, but not surprising. Gushing as much as 127,000 gallons of oil into the Pacific Ocean, endangering marine life and sensitive ecosystems. Crude oil spills in water are much more difficult to contain and clean up. So the impact to marine life is always pretty devastating. The Coast Guard is investigating whether the anchor of a large commercial ship struck an underwater oil pipeline causing the spill. But some say the real blame is on a failure to maintain aging offshore infrastructure and inefficient safety standards for oil drilling. All of this infrastructure is decades old. And so, you know, nothing, nothing lasts forever. They could be already leaking. They, you know, could be corroded. Environmental advocates are now pushing for more regulation when it comes to oil drilling and demanding it's done 2,500 feet away from frontline communities. Seven million live within a mile of a well. Two million live within a half a mile of a well. Uh, scientific studies have shown that frontline, these frontline communities, which are mainly uh, working class uh, communities of color, bear the brunt of this kind of pollution and, you know, they are being exposed to very toxic emissions. They're also calling on Governor Gavin Newsom to put a stop to oil permits in state waters to prevent what some are calling an environmental catastrophe from happening again. And these operators in the state continue to kick the ball, kick the can down the road. And legislators need to take action so these types of environmental contamination events do not occur in the future. Governor Newsom issued more than 9,000 permits for oil drilling since 2019.